Not Highly Broken. I am Kenya. I'm Terrence. And we're glad to be here with you today. So thank you for watching. Also, thank you for liking and subscribing to our channel and sharing it with other people. We do really appreciate that. Today's topic is about arguments and conflict. How do you manage yourself within an argument without crossing lines? And how do you avoid blame shifting? Because, you know, whatever type of the relationship is, we have to have some type of respect, you know, in within the relationship, respect for that, the other person. And if there is no respect, then it's going to come out um, harsh. It's going to come out dirty and, 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 and filthy and like you're trying to undercut someone. And a lot of times, you know, even in a marriage relationship, that's how the arguments, you know, start and they progress and they remain because it sounds like a lot of disrespect name calling um, and, and different things like that and how it escalates and you say in different words that can, you know, um, exacerbate a situation or that can um, make the situation that is small, more inflamed and flammable because of certain words and trigger words that you can say that you know your partner um, will take offense to because in an argument, you know, the, the boxing gloves are on and you're just trying to fight to get your point across. You know, you're arguing or the conflict, you're arguing to get your point across and so you want to be heard and you want to, I mean, let's, let's be real about it. You want to win. Yeah. And that winning, however it means, whatever it means to you, that means that you heard what was on my heart or what was in my mind and you understand. And, and now, you know, you can agree with why I was upset about what I was upset about. Mm -hmm. And so, but that's not always, you know, it doesn't indicate that you won when that partner agrees with you. It just means, it could mean that, you know, you agree to disagree. It could mean that you just agree because so that you can shut down everything that's going on so that you can go back to your, you know, personal corners and then come back another day fighting again because it's not over with. You just mm -hmm. don't want all of this, you know, um, going on right now so yeah yeah and so i agree with that yeah. i definitely agree with that um so one of the one of the ways to kind of help make sure that you're not entering to entering the conflict with the intention to be offensive or the intention to just win is to remember that this person I that I married, I married him for a reason, mm -hmm. you know, and hopefully we talked in some other videos about that bonding and that bonding that happens in the earlier years. The bonding is to help secure your trust for one another, that if something is said or if you have something to say to me, that is not with the intention to hurt me. Mm -hmm. And that's very important because we're often offended and defend ourselves because we feel that person is out to get us. Mm -hmm. We've all of a sudden flashed back to some, some other time when we didn't trust either them or some other person. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, that person may, the person you're actually talking to, your spouse may not even be the face that you see. Right. You may have flashback to another situation and are in that moment emotionally. And so it's very important that you bring into the conversation the concept that this is my spouse. They have my back. Otherwise, I would have never married them. Right, right. And so in the beginning of our marriage, you know, we would have conflicts. We would have confrontations. We would have arguments where it was seemingly endless and it was just ongoing to the point that, you know, we couldn't agree on things. Uh, we didn't want to concede. We both wanted to win the argument or the conflict. And if we didn't win, then there was the cold shoulder. There was the separation in the same place, in the same house. You know, you have the east wing, I have the west wing. And, you know, if we had to deal with something, uh, a bill or the children, then we come together and consult about that. But then after that, we part and we go our separate ways because of how the conflict went down and how, you know, it, it was, it's, it's, it's a heavy situation. Mm -hmm. And so in the beginning, you know, that was us, you know, and that's a lot of couples even now. And it's not just a, I wouldn't say it's a period of years, 
but it's just as my wife was saying about the bonding. Mm -hmm. If you know, at this point in our marriage, after 21 years, I know that she has my back. I know that she has my best interests at heart, and vice versa. And so we have that understanding now, so that when words come out that are offensive, when she says something to me or I say something to her. I know that she's not trying to hurt me. It's just the way it came out at the moment, whether, you know, she has a lot of stuff built up on the inside of her and it just comes out. But, you know, I have to know and have to have the cooler head and or vice versa. She has to have that cooler head to know that I didn't mean it the way it sounded. And I also have to verbalize to her, no, I didn't mean it like that. This is what I meant. And so you want to bring about an understanding, but if you don't want to bring about that understanding or don't have um, the words to bring about that understanding, then you're going to get stuck in a place and you're going to continue this cycle where you just argue and argue over little things. It can be over how uh, she uh, expresses um, toothpaste out of the toothpaste tube. You know, she just... She likes to roll her ends. I don't like my ends rolled. I just, just squeeze it until it's all gone. And then I have this long piece of, uh, you know, toothpaste tube. And then I throw it, throw it away in the trash. And so she may get upset because I don't roll it, roll my, the end of the toothpaste tube down like she does. And, you know, that's not how I was made. That's not how I was built. That's not how I was brought up. I didn't do it like that. You know, is it a big deal? No, it's not a big deal. It's a minor detail. Get over it. Now let's move on to something you know, big like finances that causes a lot of um, miscommunication in in the household or in the marriage. And it can be, you know, very disturbing, you know, whether I, you know, gamble all my money away or I spend it all on drugs or, you know, what happens, just, you know, throwing some things out there, you know, it causes a de detriment to the family because now my wife is looking at me, the lights are turned off, you know, the mortgage is not paid, car note, you know, is not paid. We're about to get repossessed and things are, there's a trickle down effect that can cause, you know, um, hurt and damage and embarrassment to not only to yourself, but to your entire family. And so, you know, you have to, you know, really gauge, probably going to do this over because I'm just rambling. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have to really, you know, um, you have to, understand where you are in your relationship with your spouse. And I understand now more so than ever that, you know, she has my back and that, you know, some things when she brings things to me on a dirty trash can lid, it's not, you know, her per se that is bringing all of this, you know, it's coming in the form of her and it's coming out of her mouth. But I also have to understand that I love this woman and that let me hear it from the ears of love and understanding so that I can, you know, understand where she's coming from and kind of um, learn to resolve the conflict. And keep definitely liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you have any questions or anything you want to comment on, send us an email to nothighlybroken at gmail.com.